Hey guys, as you know, Point12 is here and with it came some nice optimization and a new engine. Unfortunately, not everyone is feeling that nice optimization. So in this guide, I'm gonna be showing you guys my NVIDIA control panel settings and also my in-game settings. As always guys, the timestamps will be in the description down below. Hopefully this guide can help you maximize your FPS. So we're starting off in our desktop guys and if you have a NVIDIA card, make sure you right click and then go NVIDIA control panel. If you do not have a NVIDIA card, you may want to skip to the next section or the timestamps down below for the settings. But we're going to go towards program here and we're going to have a quick look. Um, we're going to have a drop down list here. It, it, mine already has escape from Tarkov because I've already done this. But if yours is not rocking up, make sure you just press add here and then look for the program. And if it's one of the programs you've run recently, it should rock up. So it's going to be escape from Tarkov.exe and then add selected program. In the options that you're going to get here, I want you to scroll down and the first one that you're going to change here is power management mode. Make sure that's on preferred maximum performance, preferred refresh rate, make sure that's on highest available like I have it already set and then make sure you have uh, uh, texture filtering anastropic on, texture filtering negative load BIOS allow and then texture filtering quality make sure you have this on high performance when you've when you've done all this guys i just want you to save and exit so there you go exit like that and now i'm going to show you guys my in-game settings so here we are inside taco we're just going to press the cog in the bottom right corner and go over towards graphics and the first thing we're going to be met with here guys is make sure you have full screen on i know a lot of people are going to argue with me on this one but full screen does give you better perform performance in this game. We're gonna wait down towards overall graphics quality. This is something that you can just set to presets. Keep mine on custom. Uh, texture quality, I keep mine on high because I'm a sucker for high textures, but anything below that does not really give a massive performance uh, improvement. However, high plus texture streaming does give some negative side effects in performance. Uh, as we go down towards shadows, I keep mine on medium. You can go low, but I have not noticed any massive change of performance with the shadow qualities. Um, as we go down, object LOD quality, make sure you put this on two. Overall visibility on a thousand. Shadow visibility, I keep this anywhere between 75 and the max 95, but I find 75 is the sweet spot. Uh, going down towards anti-aliasing, I keep this on FXAA. Um, off doesn't look super nice, TAA looks nice and TAA high looks nice as well. But these two, you know, obviously bring into the table a little bit worse performance. Uh, but FXAA is definitely where it's at. Resampling, keep it on one times off. The rest of these are bad for performance. Um, HBAO, I keep that off. SSSR, I keep that off. Uh, anastropic filtering, keep this on per texture. As we go down to the bottom, sharpness does not affect your performance, but make sure these two are dragged to the very end and all the bottom ones are unticked. As we go over towards game here, we're gonna see a processing called uh, set process affinity to logical cause. Now basically what is this is doing is doing what the bat file used to do if you guys wanted to improve your FPS. So this is exactly the same thing. It's basically disabling your threads. So you're hyper threading on your processor and this is known to be linked towards stutters in game so we know that this game is single core favorable so keep this ticked and that's it guys for my fps guide for point 12 if this guide in any way helped you smack out a little tiny bit more frames make sure you smash that like and subscribe button as you know i stream six days a week on twitch the link will be in the description as always thank you so much for watching